Where am I? Damn it. What am I doing here? Come on, you mongrels! So here. What is happening? What? And here?
isn't happening. This can't be happening. Antea! Call me to you! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry! I'm here! Lead me to you! Right here, my love, right here. Tis you. I have you. You have me. Um. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible, the tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me.
I needed this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. Are you still hungry? I'm hollow. As if I were filled with emptiness. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. Much more. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing but... After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Sika. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe we could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted too. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, Mala. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close.
On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. What the hell happened here? Well, if you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful.
Did you feel that? It's close. We can fight them together. Enough! We did it. We did. Thank you. I wasn't much use. You were. I promise. You get better. Things will get better. Hugging all the fun. That spectre, it's heading for that corpse. Watch out! Spectre position!
legions crawling the spectres. It's not just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion, or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. I like a bit of rabbit, but these are off. That'll be why the wolves haven't eaten them. Hunting gear. Perhaps our trappers are nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to, for both of us. Antea, will people be able to tell that I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. I wonder what happened to the trappers around here? The woods are swarmed with spectres. Hopefully, they left. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing. Over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? Aye, but ours have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Bad news. The bridge is out. We'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not gonna make it. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm gonna make it. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not gonna make it. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not gonna make it. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not gonna make it. I 
and up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. Did we miss a few? Business now. Down, boy. Get lost, won't you? There's someone inside. Someone tainted. You're back! Beg pardon. Thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad, but no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. When has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I and me to him. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve, or a ghost has taken it from him. What are you doing here? Had you nowhere safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. 
We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? I don't know. I lose track. And I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? Another time, perhaps. You're exhausted. Unsurprising, given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No! No! It is a nightmare. Nothing more. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell, Mr. McCraith, sir. Farewell. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. <gasps> there are maggots in the bed. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. He's so confused, I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisher row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. You might be able to drop down from here. I do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. 
Don't worry. It'll affect your other senses, too. Oh, this quick mist is thicker than the Scots Dragoon. It smells almost as bad. I could show you the way. Wait. That's, that's better. And a little terrifying. Is it just me, you? I felt it too. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is... Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. Now step from the shadows. Did I just do the wrong ritual? Dokimi Indrasta, Skal Namphalas. I can't. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you. What are you doing? Don't hurt me. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you! Bend 
died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Is Jacob delusional? Did he really forget what he did? Maybe his guilt got the better of his reason. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. Something's nearby. Where is it? Oh, a shy on a short stick. Bloody hell. Man's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Was he really hungry enough to eat his friend? Maybe the nightmare had something to do with it. Marcin left. has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside.
I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Time to force the ghost to manifest itself. You're not joking. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost, in mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth, to accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Weak on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous, mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. I don't know when things changed, we got stuck. 
these godforsaken woods. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. His denial runs strong. He must have loved Ben very much. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. And Tia, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. Ben wanted to leave. You argued. Remember? Ben's out and about right now. We don't argue, you know. One time, a storm caught us napping. Sidelong hailstones and everything. We was lost, but we found our way. Even then, Ben never said a word in anger, even though I slowed him down. Has he lost his mind, or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Day after day, you walk hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. Benedict lingers. End his suffering. Face the truth. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I fail God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help.
We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. If 
Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. And tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. the right choice and we made it together no turning back then so i may have my resurrection we'll steal human essence we'll kill people for our own ends living breathing people we'll be banishers no longer
That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Find the place where the stains align. That jump was quite some... Another road to nowhere. 
Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. No way through here neither, far as I can see. Call on me. Spectral nest. I'd better command them to show themselves. What do you see? Anything useful? Present yourself! Messed this up, didn't I? Unveil yourself! They never learn, do they? Think you could take on a ghost? Spectre heading for that corpse. Get rid of the other Spectre first. That one is shielded.
tougher than I got. Divert your focus. The veiled shield. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Watch out. Spectre possession. Something's nearby. Where is it? There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. Here. That's high. Trust me. Close my eyes next time. Lind mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, Banisher, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! 
I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Enforcements! Teach them not to mess with a banisher. This place is empty so long it's rotten. Signs of life ahead. They never learn, do they? This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. You made it. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye, well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. 
Newsmith. Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. How oh, fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's naught to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hake. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. <sighs> I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bother. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out. 
making the rounds, hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would thick skin say? <sighs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. I've slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean-to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. Freeze. I won't freeze. 